morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us. More than 200 people spoke out at a town hall meeting in Little Burgundy tonight. Residents say violence, gangs, and drugs are tearing their community apart. Many are also concerned with the number of homeless in the area. The meeting tonight. What was the tone there? It was calm and orderly with people making suggestions, having more street surveillance cameras and meeting in areas that are too dark at night, but toward the end of the meeting, people became frustrated with some saying they're not convinced that the right moves are actually being made to address their concerns. Little Burgundy residents say they're fed up with the problems plaguing their community. My concern is three kids. I can't go to the park or enjoy my home is there. Homeless people, people, people. You just see them, though they fill a bus and drop them in Little Burgundy. The Burgundy Urban Mediation Project organized a public meeting to give people a chance to voice their concerns over troubling issues. The violence that's been happening in the community and also the, it's a new phenomenon, uh, homeless people and people who are obviously uh, consuming crack that are in the neighborhood. On Thanksgiving weekend, two teenagers were shot in separate drug-related conflicts. Both young men survived, but the community is still shaken. This was very scary. Because it happened right outside your home? Yeah, close. Very close. Montreal police say it's a challenge to solve crimes in the community because they often face a wall of silence. A classic case, the murder of 26-year-old Jason Forbes. It happened at a bar in St. Henry six years ago. Police say there were more than 100 witnesses, but no one came forward. If the witnesses don't call the police, if they're afraid to do that, we will not be able to resolve it. Others say many in the community simply don't trust the police. I think it's... Uh... A lot of the uh, negative um, uh, uh, things that have happened with the police and the black community uh, over the years has kind of uh, tainted that whole thing. Uh, it's made people suspicious of the police. These days, there's a strong police presence in Little Burgundy. In two recent crackdowns, officers arrested a total of 21 people, possibly connected to drugs, weapons, and attempted murder. Police say they hope their work in the area will help people feel safer. Maya Johnson, C